Hi everyone, and welcome to AutoCAD. My name is Ari, and I'm an AutoCAD professional with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to learn how to rotate our view in a layout independently from model space, and we'll do so by using MV Setup. Sometimes we need to rotate our layout view independently from our model view. And this is very important when we create sections that are at different angles and we want to orient our view based on those sections. So for example, we can see many different kinds of sections here on our drawing. So I could orient my view to face section C, for example, or I could even flip it 180 degrees just to flip it upside down to see it from a different perspective. And you can have different sheets with different orientations and you don't have to worry about rotating model space or copying your model a few times to reflect all the sheets. So, for example, here's our model space. Everything is oriented as it should be, and we're going to leave it like that. We're going to go to our layout again, and now we're going to double click inside of the viewport and get ready to use a really cool command called MV Setup. So I'm going to double click in the viewport. I could also click on the word paper right down here and switch to the next viewport in the list. So there's only one viewport in this sheet, so if I click on paper, now I've also activated the viewport and I can tell because it doesn't say paper anymore. It says model right down here. So now that I'm inside the viewport, I have to do one more thing to make sure that I'm ready to use MB setup properly. And I have that is to unlock the layout. If the layout is locked and you try to rotate the layout, then it's basically not going to work and you're going to get an error. So we're going to unlock it. And that means we're going to be very careful to not zoom in or zoom out because we don't want to break our scale. Now I'm going to type in MV and S, and basically we have MV set up right here. We can click on it. And now we have many different options. MV setup was initially used to set up an entire drawing without the use of the ribbon or other optional areas. And instead, we can use our ribbon and different options to do so. So there's no need for us to really create different drawing spaces or to set our scale ahead of time. We don't have to assign layers to title blocks, etc., etc. And if you try to do MV setup in model space, you're going to get the option to choose different units in the drawing. And all of that can be found by clicking on different ribbon buttons. And that's for different tutorials. What we do still use MB setup for, and it's very useful in this case, is we click on a line, and then we also have some arbitrary options such as angled, horizontal, and vertical alignment. And what's really useful here is rotate view. So we're going to click on rotate view, and what's going to happen is that if you had any snaps turned on, they will all be turned off. Not only will the snap toggle be turned off, but if you click on the drop down next to it, Every single snap is currently off right now. And this tells us that basically MB setup doesn't need a snap. Our base point doesn't really matter. What matters is that we specify an area and rotate from it. And so if I wanted to, I could turn on my snaps, but in this case, I'm just gonna leave them off. Now, I do wanna keep my drawing kind of centered where it is. So I'm just gonna click about in the middle right here. It doesn't really matter if I got it 100% accurate. And now it's gonna ask me in my command line, specify angle from base point. This is the important part. Here, if we had to rotate at an angle that wasn't an even angle, such as 90 degrees or 180 degrees, we'd have to do some drawing and make sure that we know our angle of orientation before we do this. Now, in my case, if I just want to rotate based on some section lines and I can see some sections that are basically rotated at 90 degrees or even 180 degrees, I can just specify those angles. So let's do 180 this time, 180 and enter. And there it is. The entire drawing has flipped itself on its head. And now I'm still in the command. So at this point, I can continue working in MV setup or I can just press the escape key. And there it is, it's done. We're not in the layout anymore, so this tells us that the command was successful. If I was still in the layout, then I would know that something didn't work properly. And now let's test and make sure that this worked. I'm going to go back to model space. Our orientation hasn't changed in model space. So MV setup was a success, and this only applies to this layout. If I copy this layout, it will maintain its MV setup and its angle. But I can make new layouts and basically reset it back to zero. I can click on the plus sign here and make a brand new layout. So basically every single layout can have its own orientation. And now what I can do is if I need to look at this upside down and for example, zoom in on a certain area, I could do that. And then when I'm ready, I can just lock my viewport and I'm done. And I very quickly used MB setup to rotate my layout independently from my model space.
Thank you very much for watching our tutorial on how to rotate your layout view independently from your model view with MV Setup. Once again, my name is Ari and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.